I feel like it's always a holiday <laughs> when I'm dropping videos, but nonetheless, happy 4th of July to everyone. Please be safe. Enjoy yourself with friends and family. I'm being festive. I don't have plans right now outside of dropping this video for you, and we're not even reviewing a sneaker. We're reviewing a slide, which please don't be weird about my feet being out with these slides. Just don't be weird about the feet, okay? Just don't be weird. I didn't get the hype before. I kind of understand it now. There are still some drawbacks to this, so let's go ahead and unbox the Adidas Yeezy Slides in resin. Here's the second unboxing of the seven total Yeezys that will be unboxed here on the channel. So we have the Adidas Yeezy Slide, very iconic Yeezy box at this point. So you have Slide on the top, you have Yeezy Slide on the side, made by Adidas. Now I'm well aware when this was announced back end of December, you know, 2019, that Yeezy would release three specific colorways to start with, the Desert Sand, Resin, and Bone, all are earth tone, all are, you know, very muted and neutral, which that's a good thing. It goes with a lot. Now, some heavily criticized the minimal design when they got first looks at this and the, the slide itself leaked. But here I have the resin colorway. It is in a size seven because if you guys were not aware, it's recommended you go up a size. So I'm traditionally a men's six or women's seven and a half. So this is a men's seven to go up from my normal size. And the fit is very well on. Um, I'm following this and you guys will be able to see that but just first thoughts i'm taking this out of the box not a whole lot to it like the most basic and simple review ever there's not a lot to this design it's a one piece foam upper it's really it's two piece but it looks as if it's one piece it's injected eva foam and there's no external branding on it which i'm actually a fan of because that will allow me to comfortably wear this and not care about the whole swoosh ink rocking adidas slides however you have the ridges on the bottom which does give it traction and make for you know a comfortable fit while you're walking but also also that there isn't a lot of slippage because I wore these outside and I didn't have any problem. You see that minimal branding there, Adidas on the inner part of the slide itself and then on the inside you can see that it says made by adidas and you will usually have your you know your size stamp there so 7 us and we'll be able to take a look at the other tag that does have that qr code for the slide in itself again it's a seven resin there's not a whole lot more that i need to say about that uh, again he was heavily criticized for this some people have even jokingly said oh like those are prison slides Think what you want about it. First off, Ye still found a way to turn sneakers, I guess, in a way on its head because, hey, everyone and their mom rushes out to get this. So if your product continues to sell out, are you doing something wrong? No, I'm pretty sure you're doing something right. So Ye got these right. Honestly, guys, it's just a slide, but I still took the time to step outside of my comfort zone. This is my very first time ever owning linen pants, and I'll actually have a video separate from this. But here you have navy blue linen pants, a lace long line crop top bra, and then also a denim or chambray shirt from American Eagle airy comfortable very lightweight great for the summer so um this is certainly a look i would throw on with the slides i like the play off of the resin and the denim look and then here you have another pair of linen pants from h&m as well these just roll up at the ankle versus flare out and then this is a basic t-shirt from h&m so i don't think anything needs to be over the top slides are meant to be comfortable except you don't have to be in sweats the entire time if you are comfortable but it, there's nothing wrong Wrong with being in sweats and so here you have the minimal everyday hoodie and then the sweat shorts as well i'm a i'm laying around at home a whole whole lot still these days which means i want to be comfortable so throw on the crew socks throw on the slides throw on your favorite hoodie and sweat shorts complete the look and continue to chill out even though it is summer we're just going to ignore the fact that it's summer and i'm constantly wearing hoodies but if you're over the moon about the slides, listen, I get it. Now, yes, you also see me with no socks on here because A, there's very minimal branding. So I will rock these <laughs> regardless of the ink. It's hot, so just let my feet breathe. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. 
What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ aka T Yeezy here with the slides review. So this is something you were waiting on. What's going on? It is here. If you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it too, Switch Crew. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in, especially if you're tuning in on a holiday, which means I will also try to keep this short, but I don't need a whole lot of help there because this is arguably the shortest review I will ever need to do. There's not a whole lot to the slide and you guys saw that during the unboxing portion so let's get into uh you know my my thoughts on it being great my my drawbacks when it comes to the slide itself so first off the fact that it's simple that is really nice so big ups to Kanye there but that's kind of his thing also um so it is extremely comfortable I totally understand why people just leave them by the door now some you know um question hey would you now leave like easy sneakers by the door because of their comfort versus like a Jordan MA2 I don't know about that because no joke it's always easier also for me to get into a Jordan MA2 or a slide so Yeezy slides they're more likely for me to just leave those by the door versus is an actual Yeezy sneaker. I'll just say that off top. Uh, so comfort is absolutely there. You can wear them without, you know, you can wear them without socks. You can choose to wear socks. I don't know that I would wear anything other than crew socks. That's just based on my personal preference. But I also like the tonal colorway. So I know that is also part of Kanye's aesthetic is he likes to drop these earth tones, which it works. So the, uh, the sand, the core, the resin, hey, they all work. And I know the bright orange just came out i think that's an amazing color but also it's very limiting on how you would end up wearing those so just keep that in mind if you choose to go after the orange color way so those are the great things like i wore those to the movies perfect pair to wear to the movies okay perfect pair to wear to the movies here's the drawback <laughs> no one told me what happens when your feet start to sweat and you're not wearing socks in these, okay? None of you warned me and I feel some kind of way. So as I'm going through the process of, of capturing content for these slides, okay? So my feet are in the slides, sand socks, which, listen, that took a lot for me to even put that on camera because the internet is weird when it comes to feet, right? Like I'm not someone that even like cares that much for my own feet, but the internet is just weird when it comes to feet. So I just ask you all like, just please don't be weird about my feet being out with these slides. Just don't be weird about the feet, okay? Just don't be weird. They sweat and then once they sweat, they make this very just un, un, just just not a great sound. <laughs> Essentially the slides fart <laughs> when you wear them and no one told me that. Why is it none of you told me that? <laughs> so for all of you that own slides, I feel as if I should have received a warning about that because that doesn't happen with my Jordan slides. It doesn't happen with my Nike slides. Now I'm guessing it has to do with the way the foam in itself like has creates this, this little pocket, little bed for your feet. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that, however. And as soon as it happened, I was like, oh my goodness, no, I need to take these off. Um, so a lot of the time, I'm, I, I still think it'll be a balance between not wearing socks and wearing crew socks, but that is just a really big drawback for me. Now, in terms of fit, yes, I have a size seven. I'm a true uh, men six or six and a half, depending on the sneaker in itself. Uh, but typically in a slide, I would have probably gotten a six, but uh, Shake was smart. He already knew size up so go up a size i know that's all around the internet so i guess you've heard it here too go up a size so if you would traditionally get a six in a sneaker because you are a six or a six and a half get the seven just save yourself the trouble because if you don't i've seen that picture going around where the imprint that's on the inside it was actually like stamped on someone's foot um just because there's a lot of your foot will press against the side so Go up a size. I think that is the most comfortable thing you can do. Another warning. Do not leave these in the heat, okay? Don't leave them in your car. Don't leave them sitting out by the pool. That foam is going to shrink, and a lot of people are finding that out, whether it's with Yeezy slides or with Crocs. That foam will shrink, so please keep that in mind. Do not leave your slides, like, just out in the heat. They will shrink. That's not what you want to happen. And the fact that you're paying, what, $55, $60 for these retail, that's a little high for some people. Now, if you're personally asking me, even though you were gifted these, would you still pay for them? At first, no, but now that I have them in hand, I've, I've spent some time with them, 
Yes, I would pay for them. Now, I would be, I would, and no one come back here saying like, oh my God, they're going to raise the price because TJ said she would pay more. But I'm looking at daily value in my life uh, versus like, you know, cost of what I would pay. So I believe they're $60 and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they're $60 right now for adult sizing. Would I pay more? Yes, I would pay up to $80, I think, for these. And I say that because if you're wearing them truly every single day, you're getting your real value out of them. How many of these pairs do we wear like every single day? Not necessarily a lot of them. So a lot of these shoes I've paid more than 60. I paid more than $80 for, and they don't get daily wear, but this slide I could see getting daily wear. So I think the $60 is a reasonable price. Would I pay more? Yes. Would I pay like the $200, $300 price tag for these? No, and just also, I guess, be aware if you want an authentic Yeezy slide, there are like replica Yeezy slides out there, but who wouldn't have thought that because it's just a single piece. So yeah, of course people were gonna replicate that, but those are my thoughts on the Yeezy slide. So that need to be extensive. Um, I do see everyone flocking to it for the comfort and yeah. I would, I would, I would get more colorways. Absolutely. I would get more colorways. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in as always act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.